hey guys welcome to my slice info this video is going to show you how i launched this beauty site on icp it's a uh, basically front end and there's no back end but it's pretty slick pretty slick it's going to show you how i did it and then how how you can do it yourself icp is pretty much the cheapest cheapest protocol out there so if you want to try it out as well this video is going to be one that you want to watch keep watching first i'm going to open a favorite editor cd i want to go on to, to the folder In code here we want to open the editor where everything works so uh, what we did here is we have a public folder and when you want to do front end and the front end on icp so to make it convenient and easy to access i have a public folder here in which we have the css and fonts and images js and then the html you know all the html stuff here and then we have the dfx.json um this would help you deploy your data and this is important you know if you want to deploy an icp you need this so i want to assume you already you already have the definity sdk uh, downloaded on your device so uh this wouldn't work if you don't have the definity sdk if you don't know what it is you want to check it out we have a video on that and then the canister ids canister ids are created once you deploy the site they, they're created this file happens automatically once you deploy but at, at the same time you can you can create one as well and then if you had a canister before you can add it right here so for this side this is the canister id right here and the canister id there's just one canister here there's no back end you only have the front end no back end if you had the back end it would add to this list but it's just front end and if we had a back end, we would have another file here, which is, uh, let's see, we would have uh, a Motoko file. So, let, because if you're deploying on ICP, most, most people would use Motoko. There's also Rust and, and even Python. Recently, Python, someone can use Python to, to deploy on ICP. So, uh, Motoko would just have a main.mo. The main.mo means a Motoko file. Here you would have the, the code, the backend code. But we don't have that, so we don't need this file unless we we want it. So for now we don't. So these are the main folders that we need. Uh, main files and folders that we need uh, to deploy the front end especially dfx.json and then once we have that so uh, your html is uh, you gotta already know how to program on html so this is the index and HTML, you know, it has for a website that is big, there's a lot of information. And, and if you already have the 
programming on HTML. This this side basically um, was uh, this was like a template, you know, template and just just modify the information on the template because building everything would have taken forever and just modify the key information the photos and everything but once you have your template then it's uh it's pretty straightforward to deploy an icp so if we have all these things together how do we deploy go to our terminal and do dfx deploy network i see and wait it's going to do the job for you deployed canisters and remember we have only one canister so that one canister is deployed on the network it's on chain fully on chain no cloud no amazon cloud on chain it's amazing to check the canister id you go over here once you deploy this file is automatically created and remember, there are things that I haven't talked about, like to deploy in the IC, you need cycles and those cycles, you need to have a principal in a wallet that, you know, the principal controls the wallet that has those cycles. So these I already have, but if you want to build your own site, you would have you would need those there's a video on that on this platform so this is the canister id and this right here is also the url the url looks something like this on icp so we have the https and then we have the url like right here and if you take this is like the canister id that we have here and then it has dot raw dot ico dot app this is the url for this site or is that a kind of url you want you want for your site you know this is like it's not memorable no one would remember it so on icp this is all you get now there's a way to get a human readable url which is what i want to show you right now human readable so on icp we have icns which is the icp uh name system name system uh, this helps you to to add names human readable names to websites to icp urls you know stuff like that just things that are not readable like what we saw the canister id is not readable so on icp we have two sites where you can change that link that url to uh, something readable we have icns and ic name so for this video i'm focusing on ic name or icns not ic name and how does it work to do that first you need some wicp wicp is like a wrapped icp on this on this side so you just need icp and then you can wrap it on an exchange to WICP and then transfer to this site. It's a wallet. Once you have that, you can decide what you want to name your site. So let's say you want to name your site uh, 
let's just say you want to name your side who are you now searching would help you if if someone had already registered that side you would find it here if not you would see this option right here it says available you can register this site who are you dot icp so if i go over to register i'll have more information on that um so we see here registration period one year registration price 0 0.25 wicp so when you think of it it's pretty cheap compared to 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 what we know pretty cheap compared to, to site in web 2 so uh, this is a price and then since I don't have a balance it will work and I already registered that site so I'm, I'm gonna go over there and check right here this is a beauty site that I registered in um, now that URL, that ICP URL, this one right here, you would have to copy it and then bring it over to the host part here. And you have to set it here. Once you set it here, now people will be able to access this site using this URL here, right here. And that would be easier to read, unlike this one right here, which is not memorable at all. And that's how, and that's how you change your URL to, to something readable on ICP. There's more, but for this video, we want to make it simple. We have another video where we have details on this ICNS. If you want to check it out, check on the channel. So that's how you basically deploy a site on ICP without a lot of work. It's pretty straightforward, pretty cheap, and really fast as well. If you want to try it out, go ahead. It's way better than Web2. Way better. Thank you for watching and hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. See you again in my